One of the greatest things that you can learn is squaring the circle. The circle is the secret. I want you to honestly promise me, do lots of these. So you make a circle, round and round, and then you square it. And the reason why we square it is because a circle squared is a perfect square. And lots of animals uh, we draw use this principle, especially if you're doing graphic design on a computer, it's all about shapes. So there you'll see I found the center by combining the four corners. Now I have a center in my circle. I can go across and I can make some divisions. Now, don't think this is not fun. It's absolutely fun. I can draw this simple little character here using this principle. All I have to do is look at it for a moment and ask myself, oh, there we go. Maybe I'll, uh, square this off too and put another circle in there. I'm just playing with the idea of squaring the circle. Now I might not use all these. Oh, hey, I like this. I'm going to put a circle here. I'm not even going to do that. Oh, no, there's that little character I'm playing around with squaring circles. See how I'm putting all my circles into the picture? Maybe it's a beaver. Whatever it is, it's a great little design here. There's my circle. And, uh, hey, I'm going to do another circle in here, another circle in here. Got my ears and everything's balanced and even. See? Just by squaring the circle. I get a fairly interesting little drawing. Squaring the circle. There's my circle. Square it. Find the middle. Little puppy dog. It's just great fun. Um, there we go. It's pretty cute. A little bit of an erasing here and there. Touch it up. And look at that. I mean, that's adorable. You gotta admit. Squaring the circle. Uh, if you just play with, if you don't know what to draw, just square the circle. Start putting more circles in until you find out. Oh, owl, owl. You know, I put my circles here this time. Another piece of that English watercolor paper. I'm uh, liking this little puppy. Let's, uh, just to go over it, let me just show you the steps quickly. We squared the circle. We found the center. You know, do a couple roughs. We put in the nose. And then in this third quadrant, one, two, third quadrant, we put in another circle. You know, if you're using a computer program, this is so simple. But drawing gives it 
your own personal touch. Nobody makes their circles the same. You can put a tongue hanging out if you want. Now the eyes can be right through the middle here. So you can keep the eyeballs or the pupils. Just it's you know the character just changes every time you draw it. So There we go. I think I really lucked on the ears. Uh, they come out of this quadrant here and they sort of scoop out and then come in. See, they kind of go a little bit lower than here. Oh, we could almost do a bulldog here if we wanted. This could be any dog. It could also be many different animals. So this one's a little bit, uh, he's a little puffier, which I like. And I might just change this a little, make it a little smaller. Could put his tongue out. Actually looking a little more like a cat. There we go. Uh, it might, if we brought it around like this, yes. and then take this out. See how my eraser helps me draw. Yes, I think this is more like it. Let's see what this looks like. Bring this down more like this. So playing with what's inside the squared circle Put the nose up a little bit higher here. Oh, very bare looking. Oh, oh I like this little guy. Maybe we'll go with the bear. Not sure about the ears. change to round ears. Oh, yeah, that's it. See, playing with things is part of art. That's the fun part. If you get bogged down thinking you're making mistakes, oh, it doesn't look like a, who cares what it looks like? Just make it something. This is it. I'm doing this one. Okay, little bear, got to find out where it is and put something underneath so it doesn't go through. And here we go. Oh, broken pencil. Take my 4B. I will darken the back and we'll get it transferred lickety split. Okay, I'm going to put him here. I'm not sure where he's going to be, but I'm going to put him right in the middle this time. A little piece of tape. Always tape it because then it doesn't move. And I did put this on cardstock, so I'm going to bear down fairly hard and transfer it. And I'll meet you back here in a second. As I was transferring it, remember where we put the big circles here from this one? What a perfect little, I just did a little bit of the circle there. It really gives it a 3D effect. It really pulls it out. I also put this little line here and the, the where I squared the circle, see? Perfect for the shoulders. So here's our little guy when we squared, or girl, when we squared the circle. And you just add, there's perfect for shoulders. Okay, let's see what he looks like when we take this off. Oh, <laughs> it's always a surprise when you see it. Okay, I'm excited. I can't help it. Oh, I forgot the middle line. I'm going to put it a little bit on an angle, on a curve to get a little more 3D. 